Hello everyone, this is Jason for Primetime Aquatics and today I thought it'd be a cool idea to do a product review. We are going to be looking at some budget-friendly gravel vacs. We're going to take a look at how they work, look at their features, see if they're actually worth the money. Hope you enjoy the video, appreciate you being here. So to maintain our fish room, we do still use gravel vacs and gravel siphons that go into a wastewater system that eventually drains into a floor drain in our fish room. Traditionally, we have used these, and I've done a review on these. These are the top fin gravel vacs that you just get from PetSmart. Again, I'll put the video in the upper right-hand corner as well as in the description below. We've kind of altered this one because the hoses needed to be elongated. These are pretty good. They last a decently long time, keeping in mind how many tanks we have to clean every week. I usually get around a year and a half out of these before either this thing cracks or the blue pump starts to crack and we have to replace them. So I thought, okay, we need a couple that have to be replaced. Let's go ahead and try a different brand or two and just see how they work. And I came up with these. These came via Amazon. And if they are good, I will put Amazon affiliate links down in the description below if you want to check them out. Might save you a little bit of money. Certainly convenient. This one here came in. It wasn't even labeled on the package. It's just very simple. It's a package. It's a small gravel vac, and I stayed with the smaller ones because that's what we needed. We primarily needed gravel vacs that would fit nicely in a 10 gallon. We have our 10 gallon racks and our 20 gallon tanks. So I stayed with the smaller ones. So this is a Luji, and it's basically a smaller gravel vac. I'll take it out of the package in a second. And this one here is still relatively small. This is a Leifu, and we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look and see what these things look like and how they work. So I thought I'd start with the nondescript one, the Luji. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. So take this thing out of the package and here's what we have. So overall length, at least for the one that I am linking or the one that I bought, this thing is about four feet in total length. Now, a couple things that I see already. One, this part here is relatively rigid. So this is going, this would be nice for around a 10 to 20 gallon tank. If you're going above a 20, this probably isn't gonna work. Even a 20 gallon might be a stretch, a, a 20 high. If you got a 20 long, 10 gallon, this would probably be okay. A couple interesting things I see is one, we've got this part here. This is supposed to be a filter. And while I guess it's a good idea in theory, what this is going to do is actually prevent you from using this as it was designed, and that is as a gravel vac. So you're not really gonna be able to push this in the gravel all that well and, and get deep into the gravel. And if you've got sand, well, it's again, you, if you go into the sand and actually gravel vac into the sand, not gonna work. Now, this will be fine. If you are not going into the substrate, then maybe it will help protect like shrimp or something like that. But for the most part, this thing just unscrews. I would probably just have to use it like this based on the way we're using it. Uh, the plastic is thin. It's relatively cheap. This is going to come apart on you relatively easily. Up here, this part is all in one, it appears, so it's connected. Now, let me set this down. <clears throat> and it fell on the floor. The hose itself is, again, it's, it's relatively cheap. This is definitely going to be something that would be easy to kink. Uh, but this part is nice because you're not going to get that creasing in the hoses that will usually prevent the flow. Over here, we've got the pump, and we'll see how this works in a second. One thing I don't really like about this already is there's not a very long hose on this side of the pump. I would prefer this to have a longer extension here. Can we take this off and make it that way? It doesn't appear like this is going to come off very easily, which is kind of sad because I bought this assuming that I would be able to extend this part, and I don't think that's gonna be done very easily. So we'll take a look in a few seconds and see what this does in a tank. But this is really pretty much if you wanna empty water into a bucket with the length of this hose. All right, let's take a look at the Leifu real fast. This comes in a bag that's actually labeled with the brand name on it. So a little bit higher, and by the way, the Lugi that I just, Lugi, Lugi, that I just showed you is like $14 on Amazon for that size. This one is a little bit more, drop in pieces. This one is $16, but I can already see that we're going to have a little bit more. It's wrapped, so it's protected, because the last thing you want to do when you get your gravel back is like, if this thing has a scratch in it, 
game over, you know it's not going to work as well. But I appreciate the effort. They actually even wrap this. Now, inside, you've got the little uh, compartment there. If you look real close, that white part is kind of like a filter so that small fish won't get sucked up in here. So that's cool. Uh, but I like where it's located, not down here. So you can still use it as a regular gravel vac. It comes with a pump. This is basically... This is the same pump that comes with the uh, top fin ones that you find at PetSmart in terms of the quality. Much higher quality than the one that I just showed you in terms of uh, just the overall feel. The plastic is much thicker. This appears to be, if I had to guess, this is the exact same thing as the uh, top fin that you get from PetSmart. One downside, I guess it's not really a downside, but this one I bought, you get seven feet of hose. So there's two choices, one with five feet, one with seven feet. The five foot one is like a dollar or so cheaper. The seven foot one, I guess, because you get the extra hose, a little bit more expensive. But again, this one here, I believe it was like a 10 inch. Again, they have them in all different sizes, but we were using this primarily for smaller tanks. Now, as I mentioned, they give you seven feet of hose, but it's all one piece. So if you want this to easily go into a bucket, you're gonna wanna cut the hose and then just attach it one part to the gravel vac. And it fits very nicely. And then you could cut it like in the center, put this thing in here, or you can leave it at the very end. Uh, I just, I don't think it'll work quite as well, but for our purposes, it's gonna work really well because I've got extra hose that I can run into a floor drain or run into a, uh, our wastewater system. And then this just slides on like here. You'll just have to pay attention. I, and I haven't done this in the video, which is the in and out. Squeeze, it'll get things started. Let's take a look at what this does on a tank. All right, so the first one we're gonna test is the Luigi one. Uh, this was the one that was about $14. Again, I'm not feeling great about the quality. It's pretty it's pretty cheap. This is a 20 gallon long. It's our platy tank with a few honey grommies. So this part here, we're gonna go ahead and give it a few squeezes to pump, see how it works. We're getting very good water flow, so that's good. Again, this is not kinking up here. You can see we can go in here, but look what just happened. The flow was so strong, I just sucked up a bunch of sand. So that, is something to consider. You, you cannot use this necessarily to do any kind of sand backing. I suspect that's why they have that guard on there even for gravel with how much sand that just sucked up. I would imagine it would also suck up gravel as well. But it works. Uh, again, without that guard on there, you could suck up small fish, you could suck up fry. The problem with the guard is going to be that you are not gonna be able to get very deep into your gravel. All right, so the next one, this is the Leifu. This is basically, like I said, I, I'm assuming this is a, a, the same exact manufacturer, if not really close to the same manufacturer. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna give this pump here a couple squeezes, see how it works. By the way, if for some reason it's not sucking it up, it's probably because you put it on backwards. Uh, so this one is working well. You can see here though, it's not sucking up the sand, the way the other one did. So the suction isn't quite as great. I actually much prefer this because I can go into the into the sand, as you can see, and I can get the stuff out and I don't have to worry about the sand winding up in the bucket as well. All right, so what's the final verdict? The Luigi, Lugi, this thing here, it's a very cheap gravel vac. I think for the money, there are much better options, whether you go with the top fin gravel vac from like your standard PetSmart, or you look on Amazon, find something else. This is not something I would buy again. I bought it so you didn't have to, not a huge fan. However, I really like this Leifu one and I will put an Amazon affiliate link down in the description below if you wanna give it a try. I, it behaved very similar to the top fin ones that I've gotten used to that I like. The flow wasn't quite as strong as you saw. We could go ahead and put this in the sand and not suck up a bunch of sand in the process, I suspect. That's because of the restriction that you have going on in the pump, which I find to be a very good thing compared to the other one that we tested. So got a little bit of duckweed, it's used. Like this one, uh, one of the things you can consider, if you're ever using a gravel vac, a lot of times we will put hose clamps on all the connection points here, here, and if we have another hose here, just to really make sure that they're held on tightly. But this is a good one. I think if you are looking for a gravel vac, this one could certainly be an option. Again, I'll put the affiliate link down in the description below. We'd love to hear from you. Do you have a favorite gravel vac? Which one do you use? Appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next one.